Good morning, everyone. It is time to visit with our friends from the Blank Park Zoo. And if you're doing something, uh, walking around TV in the background, you might want to stop what you're doing and check out a most awesome creature that has joined us in studio right now. First of all, ah. uh, welcome, uh, Megan Davies. Uh, she is here along with a good buddy of yours, right? Yes, this is Amboro. And Amboro is a blue and gold macaw. Ah which is a parrot that's found in South America. That is awesome. How old is Amboro? Believe it or not, he's in his mid-20s. Parrots ah. like him can actually live into their 60s, 70s, and just like people, they can live into their 80s ah. and 90s, depending on diet ah. and lifestyle. How about that? Do you think that's one of the surprising things? I feel like when people get these uh, uh. animals as, bur or as pets, excuse me, um, they don't realize how long they Yeah, they don't really do their ah. research. Right. So with these kinds of birds, you would honestly want to try to put them in your will to make sure that you Seriously, they have yeah. a home forever. So that's what happened with him. He used to be somebody's pet, and uh, that person could no longer care for him. Mm -hmm. And then they found out none of their family members wanted a really loud squawking <laughs> parrot in their home. <laughs> Go figure. So he came to the zoo to us quite a long time ago. That's so he's been with us for hear. a while. That's good yeah. that you're able to step up in that situation. Uh, but they also like a lot of attention, correct? Yeah, these guys are incredibly social. Um, I don't really know if he knows he's a parrot. He's been in human care his whole life. Mm -hmm. um, but we are his flock at the zoo. We give him lots of attention. We give him lots of treats. And we spend a lot, a lot of time with him. Him. But in the wild, he would be uh, with individuals anywhere from like 10 up to 40, 50, and even into the hundreds. Really? So, yes. Yeah, that's kind of a social. That's his right family there. right there. So, right. yeah, really important to socialize these guys when they're really young. They also have that really sharp beak. These guys can bite incredibly hard. They break into macadamia nuts and Brazil nuts in a matter of seconds. Right. So, that's pretty hard, and that wears down their beak for them. So, it's good for them, but not so good on our fingers. That right. really hurts. How many hours of interaction do you have with him on a daily basis? Basis. Um, with him, I usually spend about one to two hours hanging out with him, training with him. Uh, I have a secondary trainer that we hang out a lot together with him, okay. and we give him lots of enrichment, which is different toys um, throughout the day uh, to keep him occupied. <laughs> Absolutely. And happy. <laughs> but obviously people are drawn to this beautiful animal because of the colors and, and they you know you can enjoy that squawking bit to when you realize that's happening all day. Yeah, so at five in the morning the loud squawk that like <laughs> rings like your that. eardrum, <laughs> that's nothing compared to how loud they can be. Right. Um so <laughs> that's not that fun that early or really late at night when you're trying to go to sleep. Now does Amboro so, have any uh, vocabulary that we would recognize? Obviously mim mimicking, uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't know the language, um, but does he have any words like yes. that? Yeah, we could see if he wants to. Do you want to say hello? Hello. There he goes. <laughs> That's his favorite to say. We we give him lots of treats for that one. So, yeah, he knows a couple little things here and there. Do you want to whistle? You want to whistle? There he goes. Short and sweet little whistle. So, yeah. He knows a couple little things here and there. But I've met parrots that can sing whole songs, like uh, Amazons and African Grays. Those guys can mimic a whole verse really? of lyrics. Yeah. About that. Yeah. Now, at the zoo, where does, it, where does he hang out at the zoo on a regular basis? Is he with other birds, or is he separate from everybody else? He's in a room um, with a bunch of animals. So he's got rabbits. He's got a smaller parrot to look at. He's got some rats. He's got an iguana. So he kind of hangs out in a, uh, one of our education rooms. He's yeah. got a very big enclosure in there that he can hang out in and he can see some other parrots but we don't have any other blue and golds or scarlets or anything like okay. that. There you go. Just because of the amount of work and time it takes right. to care it for a parrot like, like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fascinating creature. All right, so let's talk about some other amazing things that are happening at the zoo right now as we're heading towards the Halloween season. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Night Eyes is happening on Thursday. Starts so, up Thursday. Look at that. That's this. right. Tonight is your last night to get tickets in advance for okay. only $4. Oh, there nice. you go. Yeah, so you guys can still do that up to midnight tonight, and you do that at blankparkzoo.com. Okay. Otherwise, the tickets are going to be $5 for members and $6 for non members. All right. Okay, and look at the times, too, uh, of Night Eyes, the operation of Night Eyes looks at the Saturday and Sunday edition as well. I want to make sure that you realize Yes, that. yeah. So Saturdays and Sundays, the zoo is not open except for Night Eyes. So it will not be open till 1 o'clock. Okay. So you don't want to go any earlier. You know, 1230 is probably the earliest you want to start lining up uh, outside. But other than that, don't come to the zoo. We will not be open. <laughs> Just for this, right? Just for Night Eyes. That's how special this fundraiser is to the and zoo. And how big of a deal yes. it is, too, isn't it? 
Yeah. Now, uh, age groups, uh, ages for uh, Nine Eyes, uh, just kids of all ages? Uh, yeah, <laughs> zero to 100. Um, okay. We just did a final walkthrough with the all staff last night, mm -hmm. and I had a blast. Mm -hmm. And they have gone all out this year. We have a walkthrough through <laughs> Africa that has some new, exciting stuff. I'm not going to give it away, but it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. The maintenance team and the volunteer team did a really good job this year. I, I am amazed every day. we have a little video year. of Night Eyes to That's give people wonderful. an idea of what it looks like. So if you yes. want to take a look here, we saw that sign we got there uh, last week, last Friday, for the uh, zoo, for the Halloween edition of Zoo Brew. Uh, but right. this is where it all starts, right? That's right. So you're going to go down the trick-or-treating trail. It is a one-way system just for crowd control. But uh, we are encouraging guests this year to bring their own reusable bag. Um, we are trying to uh, get rid of those one-use plastics there. So if you guys can, please bring a reusable bag this year. It's like one of the reusable grocery bags. That's, that's right. Anything suggest. like that. Reusable bag, any, any kind. It's just fine. I use mine for groceries, but yeah, that would be just fine. And, and bring a big one because yes. you guys have a lot of candy. That yeah, you're it's going to be pretty serious there. <laughs> okay, so when we come in, we go under the night eye sign there over by the red pandas. Do we yeah. really hang our right and go by the flamingos? That's right. That's the way you go? Yep, that's the way you go. Um, that's where our flamingo chicks are going to be over there. And then you're just going to go down. Uh, Australia's closed this year. That's okay. why we've opened up that new uh, path by Africa. Okay. And then, of course, right past Africa is the fun zone, mm -hmm. which is where all the inflatables are, all the jugglers, really fun activities, and food trucks, which are my favorite part. You're all the food, tr food trucks in? That's okay. right. They're going to be right there on that Zuplex pad, right Got in it. front okay. of the fun zone. Right, where, where Zoo Brew has been. Yep, this that's right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. That's perfect, the, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful. And the carousel is going to be going, too, so you guys can enjoy that as well. Yeah, a ton of fun. All kicks off tomorrow, so remember you can get your last day of discounted tickets Tonight. today. So make sure you grab those. Head over to the website, blankparkzoo.com, for the latest on how to get tickets and, of course, all the wonderful events that are always happening at our Blank Park Zoo. So your favorite part about uh, getting to hang out with Emboro every day? Um, he is just quite a character. He, I really love his personality. He's pretty easygoing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he always throws some challenges with me here and there through training, but that's the fun of working with exotic animals yeah. um, and animals in general. So it's really been a pleasure working with him this well, past year. Great. Well, so. great to see yeah. him. Thank you for coming over, Amber. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> Waving goodbye. There you have it, very, folks. Very Blank Park Zoo. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun there in the next couple of weeks. We'll be right back. This is CW Iowa Life. That is an awesome looking bird. <laughs>